Hey, Michael, with X-Force PC. I recently did a video about why I believe that it, in spring of 2023 or early summer 2023, the best combination of CPU and GPU for flight simming is the, the processor being the AMD Ryzen 7800X3D. That's their 3D vCache gaming focused eight core processor. And the GPU being the RTX 4070, that's an NVIDIA card. And um, briefly, the reason I like the processor, well, it's the fastest. And with simming, uh, X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Sim, processing speed is vitally important, vitally important. And when it comes to graphics, you can always put in a bigger graphics card later if you needed to, but it's more difficult for the end user to change out their processor after the fact, uh, a little more skill involved with that. Um, so it's important to get the, the processor, you know, in the beginning, especially if you're not a, um, you know, a computer builder. And of course, we're pairing this with some DDR5 6000 RAM, which is the speed you really should be using, at least as of right now, for Ryzen uh, and the 7800X3D. Now, why briefly, now I'd have a, I'll have a link to it in the video description. I have a more detailed approach, but briefly, you know, these this combination of CPU and GPU are good. They don't draw a whole lot of power. The 3D vCache from um, AMD and Ryzen uh, is sensitive to power and heat. So um, really this processor, again, does not draw a whole lot of power, but yet it's the fastest gaming processor. And the graphics is the same way. The RTX 4070 just has a single eight pin power connector. It's not a really large, it's way smaller and lighter than the 4080 and the 4090. Um, and when it comes to flight simming, really uh, the processor is it has a tendency to be your Achilles heel. And that's because with X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Sim, when you start adding additional screens, which a lot of customers like to do, that adds workload uh, in on the same thread. Um, because Microsoft and, and X-Plane, at least as of right now, um, haven't offloaded the work to other cores. In other words, you, the, the hope would be you add a screen over on your right that another core or thread would handle that. But unfortunately, it all runs through the same thread. So you start chopping away frame rate as you add uh, screens. And so processing speed is so vitally important. And that's what we've leaned on here. Now, with this particular system, the case might look a little bit large because it's closer to the camera uh, than I am but this is actually a micro ATX case. It's actually fairly diminutive. And I'm just gonna go over it real quick. So what we've done is we've put together that combination I was talking about that I like so much into a compact uh, form factor here. Now in the front, we've got a mesh front with two intake fans. This front does come off so you can clean. And um, this is a sort of a coarse dust filter, but it will catch dust quite effectively. And then down here in the front, we've got a little odd thing. This, this cover's held on with magnets, and there's this little drawer thing that comes out. You could put your uh, flash drive with questionable materials on it in there or whatever. Um, you also uh, I believe this will fit an optical drive, although none of hardly any of our customers are interested in optical drives these days. But it, just in a quick look, it looked like it might would fit an optical drive, but Again, that's not something we're too terribly focused on anymore. Um, and so that's pretty much the front. Now in the top, I will mention there's a spot for another fan. Um, so if we put a bigger graphics card in here, you know, we could put an, another fan in the top. This system currently does not need that and we don't have one there. Let's move around to the side. I do still have the peel on here. So it looks a little cloudy and this triangle is here, but this, this peels off and I kind of want to let the customer do that. So I, I have not peeled it off, but you can see we've got our tower air cooler. We've got our 4070 here with a single eight pin power connector. Um, we've got some good cable management. And we've got um, some, you know, 32 gigs of DDR5, 6,000 RAM. Um, and we've also got um, a one terabyte SSD, but of course, bigger SSDs can go in there. And it's a fast SSD as well. And not a lot of lighting or RGB, things like that. Most of our customers don't really care about lighting and RGB. They care about performance and uh, having a clean aesthetic. So I will turn this fully on its side here and mention that here in the bottom we've got a filter for the power supply 
a nice filter that pulls out like that and you can rinse it off or vacuum it off and slide it back in. The air for the power supply comes in through the bottom and goes out the back and doesn't mix with the air inside the case. Um, and that's the, of course, the best way to do it. And there's a, there's a separator here of what they call the basement is where the power supply is. Now we move around back and we've got a lot of USB ports. Um, now I'm not promising the one you get is going to be laid out, you know, exactly like this, but you'll have a lot of USB ports. Um, you got your Wi-Fi, your 2.5 gigabyte Ethernet or gigabit Ethernet. I'll make that mistake. 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. Um, there's some onboard graphics, but we, of course, don't use those. We've got the graphics card down here. Uh, I believe I'm hitting it with my hand. I can't see, obviously. And, of course, we have the power supply down here. And around on this side, just a plain black side. We don't, uh, you know, this is where all the cable management and cable routing goes. So it's just kind of a plain side. And then up here in the top, you can't see, but there's a power button. There is a, a headphone and a microphone jack and two USB, additional USB 3.0s. So that will be convenient to have that in the front. And that's pretty much it. This is a reasonably priced system. I think it's around $2,300 ish, something like that. So nothing crazy. You know, you can spend four or $5,000 on a, a super duper, super, ult, you know, ultimate uh, high end system. Um, but this thing really, in my opinion, hits the sweet spot. It checks all the boxes and will do an amazing job in almost every situation. Obviously, it's not for everybody, but uh, watch my video, which again, I'll try to put in the video description where I talk about benchmarks and how it compares and what, you would, what your return would be if you got a 4080 or a 4090 over the 4070 that's in here. And again, reiterating, as of right now, that's the fastest gaming processor. So there is no, well, what if I put in this processor or that processor? How much more would I get? You wouldn't. This is the fastest. And it's a good 10, 15% faster in X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Sim. And pretty much faster in every, and, and so, by the way, that's then the i9 from Intel is what I'm comparing. The Intel's current fastest processor. So um, it's pretty sweet.